All right, guys. So we're doing the true finale of Portrait of Ruin. Um, I don't know how hard this is going to be, but there is a secret area in this game called the Nest of Evil that apparently I completely missed out on on my main playthrough. And if it wasn't for me watching that Gnarly video, I would not have found out about this place. So, let me just show a few things before I go there. So, uh, you'll notice my maps. The Dracula's Castle is negative 6, or not negative, 96.7%. And I've also gone, like, close to 100% in most of the other areas. I think, like, the lowest one is, uh, the castle itself. But most of them are, like, 97 or higher. Okay, this one's 96. Wait, no, that's just Dracula's castle again. Yeah, so most of them are close to 100, though. Because in order to unlock the Nest of Evil, there's a lot of really stupid steps you have to do. For one, you have to get 888% map completion. Two, you have to do a very specific quest from Wynn. And the thing about that is, in order to get the quest to even show up, you have to complete a bunch of his other quests. So, I actually had to do a bunch of those fucking stupid wind quests that I didn't want to do. I just kind of looked up how to do them because, you know, I don't really give a shit about his quests. They're not that fun. They're probably, like, the worst part about this game, if I'm gonna be honest. But, um, yeah. If, I think if we talk to him, he'll talk to us about it. You're back. Um, no, I don't think it's actually in here. But, I have a save state. Um, of me being right in front of the crypt. So this is the crypt right here. It's in the very first area of the game. <laughs> so, you go down here, and this is where the Nest of Evil is. And the reason why I'm excited to do the Nest of Evil is because it's full of, um, bosses from Dawn of Sorrow, which is really cool. Uh, also I found this armor called the Healing Mail. Which is going to be useful in uh, basically nulling all damage that I've taken. But we're going to put the Berserker mail back on. And, uh, you know, we're going to stick with Charlotte, obviously. I don't think I changed any of her equipment. I also found this weapon called the Tristan and I sold. Which is interesting, but it's really weak by this point. Apparently I could have gotten this in um, the forest world in the first one. Not the nighttime version, but the first one. That was apparently an area that I missed, and I, there, there was just a book chill in there. I still have the royal sandals on her. Oh yeah, and I guess um, we definitely don't need the mercury boots. I found these too. It makes them makes you move faster. Another funny thing that I found is the cream pie. <laughs> you can throw cream pies at people now, which uh, hey, that's pretty foony. But, um, I mean, honestly, I might, I might put it on just for the lols. And, uh, I also found the Divine Storm, which probably isn't that great by this point, but you never know. It is an op- it is a secret hidden, uh, dual crush. Also found the Shogun Helmet. So there's just a lot of crap that I found while trying to get 888%. I'm not showing that, but I just kind of went around the castle and found a bunch of secret areas. Because, yeah, fun, fun thing. In this game, there are actually, like, hidden walls that you can break, like in Circle of the Moon. So that's another thing this game has in common with Circle of the Moon, in addition to just being a lot harder, is it has freaking secret areas, which I did not know. Well, here's the thing, right? That seemed pretty normal to me when I played Circle of the Moon, but then it turns out Harmony of Distance just doesn't have any, and that's what we- that's what kind of threw me off, and it kind of changed my expectations, you know? So, I just got used to there not being secret areas, and all for all this game to bring them back all of a sudden, it kind of confused me. So there it is right there, there's the Nest of Evil. So, what should we put on? We have all boost. Probably use something like Tempest. Yeah. Alright. 
Anyways, let's go there, because I don't know how long this is gonna take. This could either take, like, 30 minutes or 2 hours. We'll see. But, this is the final area in the game. This is the this is a bonus area. You can completely, uh... You can go, like, the entire game without seeing this. Kinda neat. This music seems familiar. Well, let me just listen to this music real quick. I'm gonna take a drink anyway. It's pretty, some pretty good music, honestly. Is my thermos gonna stay up if I lean it against the wall here? Oh, uh, I'd hope so. Oh yeah, right, let me put my chat room up here before I forget. I mean, I don't know if anybody's even gonna come to the stream to chat, but hey, you never know, man. You never know. Alright. Anyways, we got a bunch of enemies to deal with. So it's a bunch of enemies, as well as um, a bunch of bosses. gonna casually kill these guys. So yeah, you have to kill all the enemies in order to progress. And here's another funny enemy. Yeah, I'm already getting my ass beat, bro. Thankfully, I brought a shit ton of potions. These frickin' uh, bone arcs, man, they're, they're tough. Oh, there's, there's multiple of these guys. I might have to leave multiple times. I don't know why I don't have Jonathan out. I don't know why I'm trying to solo this. <laughs> Already off to a bad start. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna switch back to Jonathan, and I'm gonna do so a little something we like to call cheese. We're gonna walk around, and we're gonna get some health back. <laughs> okay, and I don't believe you can actually go back either. So in theory, what you can do, right, is you can just sit against this wall, just hold left, and you can heal back all your HP. It takes a while, but... This is one thing you can do if you want to ser conserve your potions. Even though, obviously, as you can see, it takes a while. <laughs> I'm right, and I'm running this shit at like 200 FPS. So, yeah, I, I found this out yesterday when I was uh, actually I, don't, I didn't play this game yesterday. I think it was a few days ago. It was after I finished my Richter mode, my Richter mode run. I um. I decided I want to do a bonus episode where I go to the Nest of Evil. And, yeah, I found out, I found this healing mail in the uh, City of Haze. Which, you can actually get this pretty early, but I completely missed out on it during my playthrough. So, yeah. Anyways, I think that should be good enough. This, sh this, won't, this shouldn't be too bad. Well, I say it's not too bad, but I'm getting poisoned. Also, I found beef jerky, which is like a pretty, uh... Pretty weird item. Doesn't seem like Tempest is gonna be helpful here. get a bit of extra health before the next room. <laughs> this place does take a little bit. It's, it's, a, it's a very, very endurance-heavy place. Alright, we got some, uh, we got some minotaurs. Oh, 
find Jonathan, do something. It's kinda hard to dodge frickin' minotaurs in a space like this. There you go. Alright, well, I think you get a rest spot every, like, few rooms. But for now, we'll use up our normal potions. Drink some tonics. There we go. This will be a good place to use the meteor. I don't know how much health the, um, these guys have. I think they have, like, around 50 or something. Alright, here we go. Oh my god, it's actually playing the music from Dawn of Sorrow. That's amazing. So this is, uh, Valor. Getting my ass beat. Come back out, Jonathan. So, you know, oh, 450. That is some really good damage, though. <laughs> Thing is, he, he's he's facing the opposite direction that he's supposed to. It's kind of funny. Probably gonna be very tanky as well. Dang it, Jonathan! You gotta stop. Ta you gotta stop taking all these hits. There we go. And these guys probably give good experience too, if I had to guess. Well, the great thing is, is that every time you beat a boss. You can, uh, you can go back, you get a warp, so you don't, it's not technically an endurance, because you can actually just go back and save. So, I mean, the only time I'm gonna go back is if I run out of potions. But, uh, shouldn't happen too often. So, honestly, yeah, this might actually take a while. Which is good, because I, it's, a, it's a bonus episode. I want it to take a decent amount of time. I don't want it to just be over in, like, 30 minutes, you know? Well, hey, look at that. Quarter guy streaming the Dominus Collection. Look at that. Yeah, I'm totally playing the Dominus Collection, guys. You can tell. Hmm. If anything, maybe the piercing beam would be better. Okay, maybe not in this room. It really, it really depends on the enemies. Like, it really depends on what enemies show up in each room. Okay, he gone. <laughs> oh, this is, uh, this is a clusterfuck. Ooh, wait, hang on. I got the Wrecking Ball. Come on, Jonathan, throw the pies. <laughs> Jonathan's gonna be there for pie support. Ooh, that guy gave me a level up. Yeah, so chances are I'm probably gonna get to, like, level 40 by the end of this. Paco Demon. I also have this Foy Gras. Thing. I don't know what that's all about, but I might save that. I don't know. Wheat roll. <laughs> I mean, those healing items typically aren't that good anyway. Yeah, go away, Kako Demon. Those guys aren't that strong anyway. See, so, yeah, it's it's five rooms, and the fifth room is always a boss. Oh, we gotta watch out for the flea men. And we have whatever this thing is. Get 
It really is a pit of honor trial situation, though. It's, it's, if anything, it's more like the pit from Super. Because Super, you're just fighting things out in the open. Okay, thankfully... Thankfully, this Iron Golem doesn't take one damage from everything. Yeah, that, that Iron Golem, pretty chill, honestly. Alright, um... Should we heal? We'll heal our MP a bit, at least. Anyways, here's Gurgoth. It's not playing the right music, though. Ow, that did a lot of damage, actually. So, yeah, um... Piercing, piercing Beam won't work very well for this. I'm gonna assume I want to stand underneath him. Or not. Oh, he, he's dead already. Okay. <laughs> Dude, I'm really hoping it starts playing Into the Dark Knight at some point, because that song is still like one of the most hype freaking Castlevania songs, I swear. I mean, I'm doing pretty good, honestly. I'm only using I'm, I'm only using like a couple high potions. You know, I, I mean, honestly, though, we need more Castlevania games to do this kind of stuff. They, we need to like we need to pay homage to like previous Castlevania games, and not, you know, obviously they always pay, they always pay homage to, like, you know, Castlevania 1 and Castlevania 3, but I just love the fact that this game just pays homage to Dawn of Sorrow by, like, just throwing in the Dawn of Sorrow bosses for no reason. Other than the fact, you know, just because they can. Also, we have uh, farmer skeletons. These are a, these are a new enemy. They give a lot of um, they give a lot of experience. Pretty cool enemy though. Oh, we have Alistair, who has a 3D sword now. He's up. He's up. He's upgraded. Okay, I guess just a normal attack will do. Got it, what are you doing? Why aren't you attacking? When we have enemies like this, it's gonna be pretty easy. Some enemies are just way tougher than ours. Like, when you have those freaking demons, those guys are tough, but like... Those floating pig things aren't. Home of Arms, P1. Wait, what do you mean, P1? A page ripped from the Tome of Arms. Oh yeah, I think this is where you get Charlotte's best weapon at. Oh yeah, gold skeletons. They throw a lot of bones. Dang, they're doing a lot of damage. Taking way too much damage. Yeah, those little skeletons actually messed me up, what the fuck. Wow. Actually, actually tough skeletons. We're running out of potions, too. Green tea cake. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, 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 right. We have powdered milk as well. I'm not sure why you're able to buy powdered milk. <laughs> Alright. Those double axe armors are pretty tough. Alright, we got another pot, we got another boss here. This is um 
Zephyr, I think. Oh, and he actually has, um, he has an English voice now. That's kind of weird. I don't know what he's weak to, actually. We'll do Dark Rift, maybe. If I can. Yeah, they actually went through the effort of they actually went through the effort to give him an English voice. <laughs> That's kind of wild. Bro, I am a skeleton. Okay, now I need to go back. <laughs> this music kind of sounds like, um... It kind of sounds like the crypt in Dawn of Sorrow. It just reminds me of it. Oh, I know. He's playing... He's playing the Dead by Daylight DLC. <laughs> which has... Dracula in it. I think. Yeah, something like that. Although, I'm not getting any money, so... We might run out of money if we're not careful. I'll make you a deal. Oh yeah, I'm gonna run out of money eventually. I did run out of money. I think I can sell some stuff. Um, we can sell this. <laughs> like, I still have the blank book. I'll sell the Gladius. Sell the Millicent Sword. I found the Kaiser Knuckles. I'm gonna sell those. Um, I'll sell the Holy Mail. Oh yeah, the Nun's Robes. Well, I'm not completing that Nun's Quest anymore. I found this robe. I'll probably sell that too. Sell the Shogun Helmet. The Shaman Ring. Oh yeah, it makes you get more experience. <laughs> it's pretty neat. Alright, now we can buy more potions. There you go. Oh, good. Oh yeah, there's also a Magical Ticket, which I might buy one of those. I think that's just a warp or something. Anyways, I'll be right back. It's freaking hot in here. <laughs> I need to go cool myself off. Ow, I, uh, I banged my freaking, like, foot on the way coming back into my room. Ugh. And it's not that bad. It, it just kind of took me a sec to sit down. Anyways, uh, Luke just said that he wants to start playing Lego Harry Potter on Wednesdays now. Because his freaking college schedule changed or some weird shit. So, I mean, it doesn't really matter too much for me, at least, because, uh, I'm not doing anything Wednesdays, Wednesday mornings anyway. It just means that Tuesday mornings I'll get to do whatever. So, I mean, as far as I know, most of the time when me and Zeppi play, we just play Sunday or Monday morning. So that's not going to affect much. Well, actually, me and Jose have been playing Monday mornings recently. I guess it just means that now I can tell if tell him I can play on Tuesday mornings. Anyway, it won't matter much. We'll, we'll figure shit out. I'm also free Thursday mornings, too. So, I got a lot of free time. Mostly, uh, just to work on Down Bad Edition and stuff, which is still coming along. I've been working a little bit on Chapter 6. I'm gonna take my time with Chapter 6, though. Look at this guy. Ow, I'm almost dead already. That's why it tells me this guy is immune to dark damage. <laughs> 
Yeah, some rooms just have, like, really, um, really, like, tough guys. Oh, now we got Alistair and the gold skeletons. That's gonna be tough. Shit, man. I'd argue th these guys are harder than the bosses. Oh, a second Alistair. It is really funny seeing a 3D model, though. Didn't Symphony do something similar? I don't remember. Ay, jeez. I got 10 bucks. Here, let's drink some of that powder of milk. That's not bad. See, some of these rooms are chill, and the others are not oh, as chill. Love that. I love that stock noise that I hear in a lot of games. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, fuck you, Thermos. Why do you gotta fall over, bro? Fine, I'll put it over. I'll put it beside my bed then. Jeez. What the fuck? Why are these guys going so fast? <laughs> yeah, why are they going that fast? Jeez. There we go. Oh, we got another one of these guys. Was there gonna be two of them or something? Oh, hey, I got a sword for that. Is that any good? It's not bad, actually. Why was there only one sword in there? It looks like there's meant to be, uh, multiple. Oh, here we go, we got the next boss. Well, if anything, this guy's probably weak to ice, right? So this is Agony from, uh... The, he's the fi he's like one of the final bosses of uh, Dawn of Sorrow. Oh yeah, that does a crap ton of damage. Look how much damage I'm doing. Yeah, I need MP. Just trying to tear up my ice meal. Got him. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that guy is pretty weak to ice, isn't he? Well, here's the thing you're not supposed to fight these bosses with two people. So the fact that I have access to two people probably makes them a lot easier. This is a shame it's not playing the better the, the better song. It's playing that uh it's playing frickin' a Badin's boss theme. To my knowledge, that's only that song that boss theme's only used like two or three times. In like Dawn of Sorrow. Meanwhile, you know. What's it called? Uh I forgot what the name of the song was. In, oh yeah, Into the Dark Night is, like, uh, way better. Place for, like, four of the bosses. And they're really good bosses, too. we already seen Gurgoth and Zephyr. Wait, th wait, you're down there's just a Frankenstein here? What the shit? There's two of them? How am I gonna freaking do this, then? I can't even get my Dark Rift off. <laughs> uh, 
Hang on. There. Jesus Christ. How the hell did Gnarly do this? <laughs> With the frickin' uh... With only the encyclopedia. There's one. Oh, okay, they're both dead. I mean, to be fair, those guys have what, like, 5,000 health? What, are we just gonna be fighting bosses now? Oh, we got cave trolls. Oh, oh shit, I actually died. I wasn't paying attention to my health. That's the only reason why I'll die, is just if I'm not paying attention to my health. <laughs> well, we can probably do better then. Uh, there's Dark Rift. I, I actually like how challenging this is. Yeah, so this is a fun bonus area that you're not, uh, you're not, um, well, what am I trying to say? Like, it's optional, obviously. Heal up again. Wow, that was risky. Okay, there's one. He gone. So yeah, um, Dark Rift is not good for that room. Let's, let's stick to a piercing beam. Cause I can just snipe these guys from over here. Yeah, don't uh, don't get too carried away. Oh yeah, I also have the statues tier, which is for a quest. I don't even remember if I finished that quest, to be honest. I think I did, but now it's in my inventory for some reason. Oh my god, I'm at 38! How the fuck did that happen? Let's see, let's see one of those funny confectionery items I have. Oh, there's still more. There's still more trolls. There are a lot of trolls. Oh, now there's a now there's an iron golem in here. Iron golems and double axe armors. Why did you do it the wrong way, bro? I'm stuck in the corner here. I can't get out of here. I got more powdered milk, right? Oh, no, I don't. Well, that, that item looks pretty good. And I really gotta make my potions count. It's definitely getting harder, though. That's good. <laughs> Maybe we should use our meteor. Yeah, let's use the meteor. I got I got a spade. Yeah, those Yorks are not fun to deal with. Oh this neither is this room.
nice level up. It completely flash bang the screen. Alright, use some tonics. Alright, I figure what the next boss is. Oh, there's another ripper still. There. It's a bad there's a bad end. He's at he actually has this music normally. <laughs> God damn it, I'm doing it the wrong way now. Also, I'm running out of food. Yeah, just stay in the corner and keep whipping him. <laughs> oh, that was it. <laughs> damn, Ben was piss easy in this game. Dude, I actually struggled with that boss a little bit in Dawn of Sorrow, and that guy, he went down, I barely got hit. Alright, I guess we're going back again. <laughs> Some out of healing items. You know, if you actually had to do this without heal without going back to save, then it would be a lot harder. See, now that would be, actually be crazy. Alright, we're going back again. Yeah, this, this crypt is pretty cool, though. Alright, well, sadly, I'm out of tea now. It was nice while it lasted. I mean, nothing's stopping me from going to make a second cup of tea, but... Apparently, too much tea intake is bad. <laughs> if you drink too much tea in one day, it's pretty bad for you, apparently. Alright, well, uh, buying potions. Honestly, yeah, the only thing that's stopping me here is my, my money. Like, the amount of money that I have. That's the only thing that's stopping me here. Well, I'm out of money again, so hopefully I can make it. I mean, I don't know how many bosses are left. I mean, what, what comes after a bad and... We already fought a bunch of the wild bosses in uh, Dawn of Sorrow. So yeah, apparently this counts towards the, the, the nest of evil also counts towards map completion. So the most amount of map you can have is a thousand. I'm not gonna have a thousand, but I'm gonna have like around I don't know, like 980 percent or so. Because at that point, the only thing left to do is just, you know, go around the ca go around Dracula's castle and find, like, those b little bonus areas you missed. That's pretty much all there is left. Oh, I still got Piercing Beam. Piercing Beam's been saving my ass, honestly. Okay, this guy's pretty tough. Okay, so it's just that room, but there's an extra lion guy in there. Oh, you're doing it the wrong way again. Any other enemies? There's this guy. The sniper. Let's use, uh, let's use some tonics. More double axe armors. Wait, those are old axe armors. I got a, I got a Volge. What does Spade do? I don't know, I just have it. I don't know what Volge is. I think it's an equipment or something. Alright, he still has the, um the health thing on. Oh, there's Toe of Arms page two. Alright, I'm just gonna play a funny little game though it's cheese for a second here. <laughs> you know, this, get, this gives me a chance to get my MP back up as well. I don't think there's any faster way to heal this. Okay, there we go.
That did not kill. Cave trolls are pretty ruthless, honestly. They do a crap ton of damage. <laughs> Potions. Yeah, look, look at that damage, bro. Why do these guys do so much fucking damage for no reason? Look, honestly, got one of the worst enemies in here. <laughs> As far as I'm concerned, this is free experience right here. Those enemies are not shit. Alright, what else do we have? Oh, yeah! Fake Trevor, fake Sypha, and fake Grant. This is gonna be one hell of a fight. Dang, that stones me, bro? There. Let's do it. Let's do the good old meteor. Trying to get out of the way. Down the why the fuck aren't you out here? So this is so this is why uh, Trevor was in the credits. What the hell is Grant doing? He's, he's just chilling on the ceiling. <laughs> Dang, well, there goes all my MP already. Yeah, just keep drinking that tonic. No, I, I don't want to be stoned. No, stop stoning me, bro. I'm trying to do the meteor. These guys take a long time to die. <laughs> I might have to go back again after this. Dark holy water. Jesus Christ, what the fuck? Bro's getting, bro's getting really aggressive. Probably use something better than Piercing Beam. Like Dark Rift, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, definitely get rid of Sypha first. <laughs> I don't know why I'm not doing that already. He takes a while to take down, though. Oh, she's gone. Oh my god, I'm almost dead again. <laughs> I'm out of MP again. These are my these are my last tonics. There we go. Oh, and he dropped curry. That was tough. <laughs> How the fuck? Wait a minute. There's multiple rooms here? Oh, there's a save here, too. Nice. Yeah, I need to go back for potions already. I'm actually out already. I think I gotta sell stuff again. See, all that stuff that I bought throughout the journey is, um...
coming into good use. Like, it's, it's cell material, you know? Yeah, it's good. It's always good to hear this music. I was actually listening to this music the other day. This is definitely Spotify material right here. Like, the DS's sound quality is, like, it's not so good. <laughs> Alright, so pro there's a problem. I'm out of money again. <laughs> so I gotta sell some stuff now. Um, well, what am I- what am I wearing? I'm wearing Venus Brooch, a charm necklace, a like, half this stuff I can't even sell. Um... I can probably sell the Shaman Ring. I mean, I don't need that. I'm not gonna be grinding experience. Um, Charm Necklace I'm wearing. Samurai Leggings. I think that's what he's wearing right now. Mercury Boots, Royal Sandals. We're wearing that right now. Attica Helmet, Combat Beret. I think I'm still wearing the Combat Beret, actually. Yeah, I am, after all this time. I'll make you a deal. Uh, I can sell the spades. Those sell for stuff. Oh, this sells for money. Um, I found an axe. Okay. Um, I don't need the samurai plate. I'm either gonna be wearing the Berserker Mail or the Healing Mail. There we go. Now we can buy potions again. Oh yeah, we are out of tonics. <laughs> we gotta buy more. Dude, I'm almost broke again. I am broke. Shit, man. I hope I don't run out of money again. Or I hope I don't run out of items again. Otherwise, this is gonna be a really tough. Otherwise, I just gotta get by with what I have. Yo, I have 666 HP. I am the devil now. <laughs> devil waifu. As Jose always used to say. Yeah, we can we can go save down here. I think we're getting pretty close, though. The map is almost complete. I mean, you can actually check the map, I think. Uh, not that. Um, 96%. Oh, I think we're almost done, then. <laughs> I think there's one more boss left. I think I think it's the doppelganger. I did kind of spoil myself on what bosses were in here, but... I mean, whatever, right? So it's just a few more scary enemies, and then the doppelganger fight. So we should be able to make it, actually. Oh, we're already fighting him. Wasn't expecting to fight him this early. God damn, bro. Already out of MP. He keeps on harassing Jonathan. He's throwing pies! No, not my pies. Three sixty. Ow, stop. Oh, my God, the guy hits like a truck. Nope, you can't hit me with those pies. <laughs> I don't remember how much HP this guy has. I'm not sure if Piercing Beam is the way to go for this fight. Might need something better, like, um... Dark Rift, probably. Something I could just have out at all times. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm almost dead again. Yeah, distract them. Got them. Oh, 
Oh, look, two Jonathans. Which one's the real one? Oh. We get the greatest five. Summon four legendary warriors to join the battle. Oh, that was it, actually. That was the, that was the entire uh, that was the entire gauntlet. That wasn't that long at all. That took 50 minutes. Thereabouts. So that's the final boss. That's the true final boss, the doppelganger. Which I mean, hey, didn't um. Not to make another pit of 100 trials joke or anything, but did it, isn't that what Shadu is in Super Super Mario? Actually, does it does does this game predate Super Super Mario? Uh, Portrait of Ruin. When did? Yeah, this game actually predates Super Paper Mario by, like, a year or so. Interesting. It's Super Paper Mario's 2007, I know that. Alright, well, I guess just for fun, then, let's go beat Dracula a third time. And then I guess since I have a bit of time, I can try and show off the Sisters mode as well. I'm not gonna do a full playthrough with them, but I'll, 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 I'll try them out. I mean, that's what I said about Richter, and look what happened. I ended up doing a full playthrough with him. So, yeah. Let's go to the Master's Keep. I think I have enough potions to do Dracula. I mean, I have... the Legendary Five. There we go. Let's also put the, um... Let's put the Berserker Mail back on him. Yeah, keep the cream pie. It's funny. I think it's, I find it fitting to finish off the game with 666 HP. Let's do it. Oh, well, here's your money grinding spot, I guess. Oh, yeah. I guess I'll show it off. Oh. Yeah, look at that. Well, there goes my MP. I was just trying to switch to Jonathan. I ended up using the M I ended up using the skill by accident. So here, there's a secret area up here that I never showed off. I found this when I was going for 888%. Uh, this is actually a really cool reference to uh, Rondo of Blood. I think, I think Rondo, I think it's Rondo of Blood that did this first, where there's a secret in the attic before you fight Dracula. So yeah, that's that's there. That's just chilling there. Anyways, I need to refill my MP. So give me a sec. I'm just gonna we're gonna dance. Dance, 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 dance. Charlotte. Okay, that should be good enough. Alright, let's go fight Dracula again. Just because, why not? Alright, let's see how much damage he does. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't even see how much that did. Probably save the damage for, um... The end. I'm kind of so used to this fucking fight by this point. <laughs> At this point, I'm so fucking sick of this stupid fight. So I've done it so many damn times. Well, Dark Rift ain't gonna do shit, I know that. I don't even remember what I did for this fight. I got this Spirit of Light. I mean, look how much damage Spirit of Light does. Well, I can't get too careless here. Ah. Okay, thanks, Dracula, for spawning on top of me. And Jonathan keeps wasting my fucking MP, bro. I mean, doing 191 damage is pretty good. Get, get the fuck out of here, Jonathan. You're wasting my MP again. Yeah, I mean, 191 damage. To, 191 damage to death is way better. One way better than a uh, freaking um, like the 50 I was doing.
Yeah, at least I know how to dodge that attack now. Let's see some of that powdered milk. There you go. Yeah, you're Dracula. I mean, it's, it's only fitting that we end the game off this way. There we go. Yeah, steal frickin' Dracula's power for the millionth time by this point. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I'm still using the frickin' Meteor with Jonathan. Hold on, let me fix that. To be fair, I do have the the curse mail on or whatever it's called. The I don't even remember what it's called. I just know it's good. <laughs> I fought this freaking guy so many times by this point. I can do a shit ton of damage to you, buddy. Look at my look at my attacks. All right, we got all the characters here. Boom for 800, 848 damage, no less. Just just circle the D-pad. I mean, Charlotte's helping too. I think that's what you're supposed to do. I think you're supposed to use your comrade there. Frickin' stupid kick that I hate. I think these are my last few healing items at this point. What are you doing? Bro. Bro, me switching to Charlotte fucked me over. <laughs> okay, well you know what? You guys get the idea. I just wanted to show that off. Anyways, let's do um let's do another playthrough and I'm gonna try out the sisters. Um Do I even need a name for this one? Moon Moonpa. And, um, I don't really know what to draw for this one. This one will be a red smiley face. There we go. Oh, they actually have a uh, dialogue. Father must have come to this castle. Stella, father said we weren't, we weren't to come here no matter what. I know that, but he's never been so late coming back before. You're worried too, aren't you? Well, yes, but I'm scared. So am I, but we have to go. I just sense Father's power. He's alive. Let's hurry. Right. But press L to switch players. Use control pad to move. Stella has a slash. Laura has ice spells. Can I not jump? <laughs> Oh, I can fly! How do I do- how do I do anything? You can just fly and do whatever you want. Interesting. Okay, so you get MP while on the ground. Am I stupid? How do I- how do you attack? Oh, you have to use... This is where the stylus comes in. Interesting. So... 
I was wondering why there was like barely any stylus control in this game. Wow, this this sure is an interesting way to play the game. That's for sure. I'll be honest, I don't really like this that much though. If this is how you had, to, if this is how you played the game normally, would have been way worse off, honestly. I didn't think it actually meant use like the stylus. <laughs> Alright, so she can she can use ice. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, but I don't really like their place the hell that much. <laughs> Well, I figured I'd just try them out a little bit, see what I thought. Okay, well, that's, um, that's, that's Dawn, not Dawn of Sorrow, <laughs> wrong game. That's Portrait of Ruin, guys. Uh, it wasn't the shortest finale ever, but it definitely wasn't long either. So, uh, yeah, there's your bonus episode. I'm kind of glad I just made this its own episode instead of tacking it on to the end of Richter mode, because... That frickin' episode was four hours long, and I'm not doing that again. But hey, I mean, I'm glad I got to show off, um... I got to show off the crypt. I, I just call it the crypt. I don't even call it the nest of evil. I just call it the crypt. I don't know why I call it that. Uh, I'm probably not gonna do a full playthrough of the sisters, though, because I don't really want to deal with stylus controls. And plus, I've already played through this game twice now. And, uh, you know... This game's damn lucky that I decided to give it a, a second go around in the first place. You know, I didn't do that for Del May Cry, I can tell you that. So, yeah, and plus, after that Dracula fight, I, I'm, I'm kind of burnt out anyways. I think it's uh, time I put Castlevania down for another year. So, yeah, um, the next series, as you guys might already know, is Luigi's Mansion 2, aka Dark Moon. We're going to be playing uh, the Switch port of Dark Moon, which I have uh, downloaded and installed onto my Switch. And uh, I, I got past the title screen, and that seems to work fine, so we're going to play that, and uh, that'll be fun. I, I have never played Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon before, so I'm kind of interested to see just how mid it is, because I've heard it's kind of mid at times, because of its mission, mission structure, but... I guess I'll be the judge of that. I mean, I didn't mind Luigi's Mansion 3. Luigi's Mansion 3 was alright. Pretty fun. Although, I still think my favorite is Luigi's Mansion 1, though. I know a lot of people like Luigi's Mansion 3 the most now, but... I don't know. I just have a soft spot for the first game, but enough about that. Anyways, um... I don't know if we're gonna have any other stream ideas for today. I might ask, uh... I might ask Zach if he wants to play something, if he wants to continue Down Bad Edition, you know, show off the rest of the game. I'll ask him. I think Mario was also wanted to play later. I don't know if he wanted to play today, but I'll bug him about it, see if he wants to continue his Pac-Man World 2 100% Let's Play that he's doing, or... Well, it's not really a Let's Play, but he, he's playing it. I'd be down to do that. But other than that, uh, probably not a, lot, not a lot else is gonna happen today. So anyways, I will see you guys in the next series. Thanks for watching.